your staff. I guess you're not going to go to the roster. So the staff meeting is now in order. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the chain of command is, right? <laughs> Uh, thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for the ones that dressed up, the ones that didn't get the memo. Hey, I brought cupcakes. She so. dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> she dressed up. No, no, no. Leather face, Brian got changed here. The only thing I really got is uh, if you haven't picked up your t shirt, get with me. I've got them at the house. Um, is this from the second round of t-shirts or the first round? First round. First round. There are t-shirts? Okay. Okay. So we're yeah. yeah. still late. Okay. <laughs> we're working on the it's second so round. It's probably the after the Halloween holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going <laughs> to do a second round of the shirts, but it's going to be after October because, well, it's October for us. <laughs> and that's it for the evening of the evening. Okay, okay. speaking of the guy who's been helping make the events, yeah, it's a lot busy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no problem. <laughs> On a so personal note, is something. anyone off tomorrow that would help me build something? What is it? Is tomorrow Tuesday? Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. Um, I got school, sorry. You're got school. We are, well, I'm trying to build a Millennium Falcon. Oh. A full size one? For my girlfriend's son. He's in a wheelchair. Oh. To fit around. To fit around his wheelchair. He's going to be Han Solo yeah. for the... Oh. Uh, oh. For the uh, sci-fi night. Sci -fi night on Saturday. Um, if y'all are interested, get with me after the meeting. I'll get you my information, like where I live and all like that. We're going to be building it out of foam and stuff, so nothing really intricate, but enough to get the the uh, shape of it. So, pretty much all anything I've got. Oh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Trivia. Trivia. Do we have pens and pencils or? No, okay. I just answer it. Yeah. <laughs> You're on a white um, <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to pass it down. With, with the help of the lovely Tina. Freezing. Uh, <laughs> 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 they start like against that wall. I'll start over here. I didn't um, so hopefully you guys yeah, have some pencils. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> 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 Halloween is the. Oh my god, I like that. 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 I like I Make sure you put your name on it and Elijah's already the jet token is already in the jet. Of course I know who they know. There's no more pins. Elliot. I don't know. Any more pins? Available. Who needs a pen? You have one? You have one? Okay, go, go. Do it. What? Oh. Oh. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody in our group one time to do me. My grandfather's black was doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you needed one. 
<laughs> so, oh, I know this one. Actually, you should offer a bonus point if you can name what show he was also famous for. I'm going to get number 15, right? Ladies on the green table was, and he's the only one that I don't know that you'll probably be any bonus points. It's raining pants. Ronald McDonald House Autumn Festival, 
they moved the date and then canceled one of the days, so all we had was Sunday that we were able to do it. But every other group that was offering to costume for it canceled, so we were the only ones there, and they are very, very, very happy that we were there because otherwise there wouldn't have been any crazy people running around dressed up like weirdos. So, so thank you. That's <laughs> one that. That, that, that was awesome. And we're only weirdos and when they ask us to be there. Th that, yes, exactly. Uh, the other thing that happened this past week uh, was uh, Star Wars Reads Day, and unfortunately we were already booked with like, I don't know, three events on that day, and uh, we weren't able to do anything on that particular day. However, Barnes & Noble asked several of our people to come on television to help promote it, and uh, Shalina and Richard... Including Luke Skywalker. Yeah, Luke Skywalker there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> And uh, Chad yeah, Moore all went uh, to be on TV. To Just roll with it. I am. I am. Yeah, Brian even uh, played with uh, Richard Lightsaber. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> on my TV? He was on my TV, apparently. So, now, since we had a light month last month, uh, I really tried to not have very much for us to do last month because. This month is going to be kicking us in the teeth. October is always extremely busy, and this October is even busier than usual because uh, the zoo has expanded their Boo in the Zoo to three weekends instead of just two. So here's what our schedule looks like. This Friday, uh, we're going to do Boo in the Zoo, and it's Pirates and Princesses. Uh, so pirates, princesses, fairies, Disney characters, anything like that is, is a go. So uh, anyone that wants to dress up as any of those things, you're more than welcome to come out with us. On Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday, we have Boo in the Zoo again, and it's sci-fi night. So any sci-fi characters, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, any cool characters that would fit into science fiction, that's what we're going to be doing on Saturday night. That's this Saturday? That is yeah. this Saturday, what, yes. What, what was Friday? Sorry, I couldn't hear. Friday Pirates is Pirates and Princesses. And Princesses. <laughs> now, next Wednesday is Future Day, and that's over here at the Carmike Theater. They're going. It's the, the day that uh, Marty McFly went into the future to. Uh, it's coming up this coming Wednesday. And, or not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, sorry. So it's on the 21st, and we're looking for people to dress up as time travelers, or maybe people that are displaced in time. We have like, uh, we already have Bill and Ted, we have uh, someone doing Doc Brown and Marty McFly, but Doctor Who characters and things like that would be cool, or anyone else that, that you can think of that would be like a time traveler type person. Huh? Grim Reaper. Yeah, you can do Grim Reaper. He's timeless. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you do Grim Reaper, though, you have to have Twister. You have to have Twister. Uh, Twister? Yes. You have to have Twister. Only, that's the only way you can do Grim Reaper. You have to have Twister. Um, but he's a Bill and Ted. On uh, the Thursday after that, October 22nd, is part two of Attack on Titan. And we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. Uh, it's going to be any anime character that is focusing on Attack on Titan. So uh, any anime character, but let's try to try to do as many Attack on Titan as we possibly can. And uh, once again, just like last time, the uh, Chattanooga Anime Club, or I'm sorry, UTC Anime Club and uh, Anime Blast are going to be helping us out with that one. And when is this again? On October 22nd. Okay. So it's not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Okay. Now, October 23rd is our second night for Boo in the Zoo, and that's going to be 80s night. So we're going to do 80s cartoon characters and 80s movie characters that, that are fun and family friendly. No well, crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to do on that night. Well, that's like, was those posters in the 80s? Yes. yes. Oh, so so Ghostbusters could work. Uh, I know we're probably going to have Skeletor. We have other people that are doing uh, fun, and, like, fun different characters from cartoons and stuff. So uh, let your mind go wild. I'll be uh, doing Eric Raymond from Jim and the Holograms. Right. <laughs> if, anyone else, if anyone else wants to do Jim and the Holograms characters, <laughs> you can join me. I'll go steal uh, my friend's dress and I'll be in the 
Then on October 24th, which is the following Saturday, that will be our superhero night. And that's any superhero characters, doesn't matter, Marvel, DC, Image, we don't care. Uh, just keep in mind that you're going to be around children, so nothing that's too frightening for kids. Uh, then on Friday, you're just completely SOL, aren't you? Friday on October 30th, uh, we have two things going on at the same time. Chatterweed's primary goal is to uh, attend the Tennessee Aquarium's Halloween party. We were asked to do that first before the zoo expanded their uh, the, the weekends that they're doing Boo in the Zoo. So they are looking for Disney type characters like princesses and things like that, and they're also looking for superheroes. So we're going to be doing both of those for the uh, aquarium, and that'll be at 3:30 in the afternoon. It's going to be earlier than normal, and it's going to last a little bit longer. But they want us to be there uh, to. Prepare to, for prep time, to look around, see the area we're going to be in, and things like that, so we know what we're getting into. That same night, okay. we have Boo at the Zoo, and it's going to be cartoon and anime night. And Anime Blast is going to be helping us out by going there in cartoon characters so that we can uh, expand our focus a little bit. But our people, we need to try to stick with the superheroes, the Disney characters. If you don't have a superhero or a Disney character, then, but you do anime, Feel free to go to Boo at the Zoo, and that'll be perfectly fine. But we want to have as many people as possible at the aquarium, because that was the first people that asked us out. Now, on Halloween night, I know that that's going to be a really busy one for a lot of us, because there's, it's a Saturday night on Halloween. There's going to be a lot of parties and things like that. So what I did is I made that last night of Boo at the Zoo is going to be our mixed theme night. Anyone can dress up as whatever they want, as long as it's not too frightening for children, and uh, come out to the zoo, and then afterwards we'll all just go as a group and we'll crash some parties and tear shit up. So we'll have some fun. Uh, after that, on November 7th, we have the Partnership for Families, which is a kids' fun day. And uh, that's a special thing that we've been asked to do, and they're wanting us to do superhero characters or Disney characters, pretty much anything we want. And it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's to benefit uh, uh, distressed women's and children's shelter, uh, essentially. So, uh, well, men, women, and children. They focus on anyone that's been in uh, domestic abuse relationships or anything like that. And it's one of the few uh, of its kind in the area, that, and they do a lot of work around here. So we want to try to help them out as much as we can. Now, those are our things that we have booked. And I also have some other things that are going to be like extra credit if anyone just happens to be available for them. So this Saturday, we have two different charity walks that we've been asked to do. I did not tell them we would do either one of them, but I told them that I would spread the word and let people know if you want to do them, you can. They're going to be in the morning on Saturday for the, the Buddy Walk, which is for Down Syndrome. Uh, awareness and the apraxia walk, which is a uh, it's like a speech disorder that they're having a thing uh, also this weekend. So if anyone wants to do either one of those, contact me. I'll give you the information, um, and that shouldn't interfere with us doing uh, Boo in the Zoo later that night. Uh, the other thing is on October 24th, the hydrocephalus walk is that weekend, and it's also in the morning, so it shouldn't interfere with Boo in the Zoo. Uh, and that's um, a, a charity for uh, brain disorders and other things like that uh, for children that have inoperable tumors and, and whatnot. So if anyone's interested in doing that, let me know. And the last thing is on October 18th, uh, the Bulzawa Elementary School is having a festival and asked if any people could come. Now that one would be overlapping a little bit with Boo in the Zoo but it's something that we could do earlier and then we could leave and go to Boone the Zoo. So if anyone's interested in that, then let me know. But these are just extra credit stuff, so if you want to do them, tell me, and we'll, I'll get all the information to you, we'll figure it out. So that's all for now. If anything else weird comes up, I'll let everyone know. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think it's on the 31st during the day. Is there a color run coming out of the zone yes. first? Yes, I believe there is. If anyone is planning on doing it, and is interested. Um, one of the guys I work with is dying of cancer. He has like about three months to live. So we're a bunch of us are trying to get some of his bucket list stuff 
off of him. And one of his things is he wanted to do that run. And the girl that is running with him would really like some help with his wheelchair. Like she doesn't mind. Like if you if you don't want help, that's cool. But it's going to be just her right now. And we've she actually, would love. We've actually already got a team. Set up for that. Do you want me to just put her in touch with you? And yeah, because he all we all she needs is just help. And with his if anybody, chair, that's one of if the anybody wants here to wants to do it, and just you, I mean, like he just now he has leukemia. He's thirty nine years old. Oh, he has leukemia, so he's like it kind of hit all of us at work a little bit hard because like all of us are around that age. So it kind of freaks us all out, but. She has been like awesome. She pretty much took over taking care of him and everything. He has no family. And well, he has two sons who are kind of different. They don't care. They don't care about the all stuff. So I thought maybe if people, and I thought I had heard somebody say, and I think it was you guys say that you wanted to do it, but I'll hook her up with you guys. Because I felt like I knew it would be more fun if he was in a group and not just her struggling to. She thought it was like a mile. She didn't realize it was how big it was. And she said, no. Our team name is the last of the time wars. Super super geeky. He's really geeky. I'm actually going to introduce him to the group. Oh, and he yeah. got diagnosed, and, and it's just been kind of from. He's been diagnosed for two weeks, and they it's told him shot. three three months, but it's probably going to be probably the end of October is the last time he can do anything. So that's being off. So it's kind of like just crazy. It's all been that. Well, if anyone's interested in that, also get in touch with me, and I'll help you get in touch with me. Now, oh, before I quit, would you like to introduce yourself since it's your first time at a meeting? Who? Me? Yes. <laughs> we have a newcomer. Welcome to each of us. Uh, she's a little underdressed, so don't hold it against her. <laughs> My name is Jane Mills. I uh, work at WTVC as a master control operator. And I mostly love horror movies and some sci-fi and whatnot. So, I'm shy. Don't worry, we'll get you out of the show. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have anything to say to me? Well, I guess the, the only other thing. Uh, the only other thing that I probably need to say. Oh, Megan, you want to say something? Yeah. Well, stand up. Yeah. Stand up. Weird and unpredictable this way comes. Um, I'm planning something for the library that I'm. I'm like way behind at work, and I apologize. I haven't been to a meeting in months. Um, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm coming back to being a human. So one of the, the pieces that's fallen through the cracks was contacting Ricky, but we're going to have it, uh, of course, it's on Halloween, but I decided to do it early in the day this, this time, well, for us. So from 2 to 4, we're going to have a celebration of Tim Burton. Wow. So you're welcome to costume, but beyond that, if you guys just want to come hang out, we're, mm -hmm. we're branching into the fourth floor like I told you we were going to do, so I'm going to have a tea blending class for adults. Uh, led by hopefully a Mad Hatter. We're going to have uh, uh, Beetlejuice's, uh, what's the Mrs. Dietz, the crazy furniture. We're going to have a furniture building course with something called Wiki Seats. Um, so, <laughs> some cool stuff if you just want to come and like party with us too. But if you oh. wanted to come in costume and like freak people out, you're welcome. Well, Send me all the info. Halloween, it's Saturday, so Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. Send me all the info and I'll add it to our extra credit list then. Will do. And, Thanks, uh, guys. But uh, the only other thing I wanted to say uh, before I quit talking, I guess, mm -hmm. is that uh, whenever we finish the meeting, if people want to come by, we're going to be raffling off some cool stuff that I've picked up over the past couple of months. Probably not going to do the raffles until after October is done and we put all the hard stuff behind us. But uh, it'll be, yeah. <laughs> Some, some geeky, cool stuff that people would probably be very interested in. And uh, we'll get more details about that later. Uh, and let everyone know exactly how we're going to do it. So, uh, But you're welcome to, to see the weird stuff we have over here uh, before we leave today. So, Eric. Anything else? Uh, I do believe that we are fixing to go eat, and yes, we are eating in costume, and it's going to be Olive Garden. <laughs> Has everybody worn them? Oh, yeah, I don't know. When you're there, you're less than a few. We need to call them. We need to figure out how many people are going to call them. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Which uh, one? Okay. Which Hamilton Place? Place. Hamilton Place? Hamilton oh, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, I'm a slow breadstick. <laughs> You're the reason we're going. Yeah, what is it like? Yeah, it's 20. 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I'm just going to say 20. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Why do you need the old? Someone's gonna die again. 